It's not, but go ahead. Go. Uh oh, it's a good show. Geneva's awesome. Outside their own strike zone. This week's movies, the 1977 one-on-one, -on -one, and the 1989 Dead Calm, starring Nicole Kidman, Robbie Benson, Annette O'Toole, Billy Zane, Sam Neill, and Melanie Griffin. Now to you guys who still can't believe Jennifer Aniston didn't win an Oscar for her portrayal as Tori in Leprechaun. Tim Crutchman and Jeff Miller. She was robbed. Can, can you tell how tired I was when I wrote this, or when I did this this morning? Tim, I, I, was so I don't know. Freaking, you, you can tell there's no energy in there. But now, we have energy. Now we you have got it. Dog, oh peanut God. butter whiskey, and then there's something in here. It might be this. I don't it think might we need this. Your, I don't think we need your microphone today. Why? I, so, I don't think it's All right, needed. so now there's a couple things. This is not Festivus, but I have some grievances right now. Okay. Lots of them. But wait, let's. What do you keep? Why are you doing that? That's like you do any of that. I'm stroke, doing that it to bad. drive you nuts. That could be bad. What if I have a, a situation because of strobes? You don't even know. Okay, I don't know, but just but you don't know. What we do I, need what to I, start the show. I know we're start cow down. I'm. What do you mean cow, cow down? Cow down. Cow down. Oh my god, the cow down. Watch out for the Hindus. Anyways, the dot, the dots. Connect the dots. All right. So, anyways, back to the show. So, all right. So we do this show. We've been doing it for a while now. It's called Dead on the Bases because he's the vamp. He reviews sports movies, but he likes horror movies. I'm the right. elf. I review horror movies, and but I, but I like. I'm shocked. I like sports movies, but so that Festivus comes early this year. Yeah, yeah, in more than one way. So, anyways, so I was so what I wanted. Oh no. Okay. So let's just first talk about. Hold on. Let's. Should we? Should let's I, hold on. Should I tell you about my grievance, or should I talk to? Should we say what the movies are? Let Let's uh, tell the movies so that okay. people can anticipate the greatness that is to come. That's what she said. And speaking of greatness, <laughs> we're going to talk about Dead Calm, which was voted one of the one thousand greatest movies. Shouldn't I be saying the one that I reviewed? No, you're okay. going to okay. say what I'm going to review. Oh, yeah. So, Tim, I gave Tim the movie a one-on-one. -on -one. There's three O's in this movie, three N's, and two E's. If you can figure out why those make a difference, that's why I gave him the movie. So, one-on-one's -on -one's a basketball movie. Did you pick up in the movie why there's three O's, three N's, and two E's? We'll talk about no. it. No. We'll talk about it later. That's fine. No. In fact, I think the title of the movie is one of the problems I have, but... Okay, I'm I'm glad to hear you, there's a reason can for you, it. How can that be? It says the story of a winner. How can how can you have a problem with that? I have lots of problems with this film. Right. We'll we'll go into those. All right. Later on. Should we have like a drinking game tonight, folks? Should we have a I, drinking I think game you're tonight? you're having a game. Oh wait, hey, look at this. I got green on. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Top of the morning to you. Oh, it's afternoon. Top yep. of the evening to you. You know what else time it is? What? Grievances? It is time for our new sports feature. Isn't that nice? OWC Sports. That's right. What is this? OWC. What? O OWC. Yeah. Otherworldly culture. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's part yeah. of our sponsorships. Right. It's Merch Man this time. Yeah. So, what do you want to talk about there, Jeff? I want to talk about how Marquette got their asses kicked today. They got beat by 32 points by the North Carolina Tar Heels. Marquette shouldn't have even been in the tournament. I don't even know how they got... They got, they got an 8 seed? An 8 or 9 seed? I don't even know. One of the two. But how did they even get in the tournament? Marquette sucks. They're terrible. Why would you... Why did they even get a spot? You know what? They were they couldn't even beat a 16 seed. But anyway, so I digress. So we yes, have you do. so we have March Madness right now. Merch yeah. we call it March Madness here because we always have merch to sell or give away because I give way more merch than I sell. But anyways, 
But it's true. It is it's true. true. Kane Hodder. Is. Kane Hodder. I'm like, hey, here's some merch. He's like, all right. So, anyways, and then he put it on. How about some more? Yeah. Why don't you take some more home so it doesn't? So it looks like I sold some stuff. But yeah. anyways, so back to what I was saying. Now, March Madness is upon us. It's the the greatest time of year. Honest to God, Tim, for a sports person, this is the best time of year. This is the most fun. You have a lot of upsets in basketball right now. They'll come down to a winner in like three weeks. And, yeah, but uh, speaking of upset, that's how you are right now. Because you came in here spitting nails about a trade. I can do that, but can I first just tell you who I think is going to win um, the NCAA tournament? Go. Auburn, the Auburn Tigers, War Eagle, Bruce Pearl. They're going to win the whole shoot match. Okay, now I well hold on. Don't you want to know who I think's going to win? I would. You know what, Tim? Tim, if you get one team, if you can get a team, oh my <laughs> god, like on the bracket. If you get a team that's on the bracket, okay. that that's not the Wisconsin Badgers, because okay. they're in there. If you give me one team. I will add one point to my rating of this movie. Okay. The Marquette Warriors. That doesn't count. They're you just top. said that no. they were on the bracket, yeah. so I so win. So you can't, you can't mention I would you thank you. No. That's one point. You, can't, you, can't. you all heard him. You all heard yes. him. <laughs> Can you give me another one that I did not mention? Sure. MIT. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They're on a mathematical uh, tournament. The mathletes. All right. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, so I did come in here pretty Notre hot. Dame. How about that? Okay, you know what? I'm sure they're in there. See, you didn't even know. They had a great win the other night. They had a win. They had a win to get I knew the, that. Did you? No. They had a win in double overtime, no, Tim. I thought they had a football team. They do. But, Tim. Wait, wait. Some, some places they can have more than one team? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Notre Dame won Sounds in double pricey. overtime. They won in How do they get all the drugs there? <laughs> Shut for up. To do programs. Shut up. You would think they'd have to open a pharmacy, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I did. So Tim, Tim for picking Notre Dame, I will give you the point for that. I won't give you the point for Marquette. I'll give it to you for Notre Dame. <laughs> I was actually proud of myself that I thought of Notre Dame. Yeah, but you just thought of it. You didn't know. No, I didn't know. What? It, what? I no what idea. Is, hey, what is the Notre Dame called? They're called the what? Fighting Irish. What a perfect night for tonight. The oh, Fighting yeah, Irish. Well, that's the only reason I thought of them. Either, no, sh no kidding. Yeah. All right. So. Should I tell you why I got all upset tonight? All right. So I will tell you. So do you want to... Hold on. Hold up the bottle to show him. The sheepy doodle? This is because I have a dog. I have a sheepy doodle. So I drink sheep dog, peppermint... Wait, peppermint. No, no it's not peppermint. Peanut, peanut butter. butter. Peanut butter whiskey. You yeah. know what? And they... And I think they sponsor our show now. Anyways. So send more. Send more. <laughs> so anyway... If I, if I get even one... Okay. I'll, I'll put that away. I'll, I'll mark the box, Mark Patrick, because that's exactly what you're pulling there. <laughs> you know what? That hurts. No, that hurts. That's inside baseball, but that hurts. That really hurts. Yeah. So That's what I do. So you want to have a, you want to a really good shot? Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your sheepdog peanut butter whiskey. Whiskey, Okay. Yeah. And then you're going to get some, some raspberry... Cord cordial type of like it's a liqueur, liqueur. Okay. And you're liqueur. gonna put liqueur, and you're gonna yeah. put like half and half in a shot glass. Half and half. And this is pretty complicated. And right. you're gonna drink that, and I and you're gonna have in your mouth a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that tastes so good you can actually taste the crust. It's that good. It's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's a great wow. shot. Wow. All right. So now this is what got me upset. So. <laughs> What I wanted to do, because I do enjoy TikTok, uh, what I wanted I to do was make a drink here in front of everybody. Right. And it dealt with having a shamrock shake and then... Mm -hmm. Sheepdog peanut butter whiskey. It actually was another brand. It was called Screwball, but I have a sheepdog, so I... Sheepdog sheep peanut so, butter whiskey. So you mix it all together or whatever, and then you drink it, and it would have been fun. And Tim would have Tim would have done that, but he would have still had a shamrock shake. But I get to the McDonald's. Hey, you damn right, I'd have the Shamrock Shake. So I get to the McDonald's in Muskego, which yeah. is the worst McDonald's in, on the face of the <laughs> earth. <laughs> on the face of the whole. Earth. I don't care if you're. It is. It I is. I don't care if you're a McDonald's in Russia, in China, <laughs> in in North Korea. I don't care where you are. We have the worst one in Muskego on Racine Avenue and Jamesville Road. The worst. 
and they are not sponsoring us no, at, at this moment. I wouldn't want them to. If they were, I would kick them off. <laughs> so anyway, so 99% of the time it's their fault, but this time it was actually the guy, the guy in front of me in the drive through lane, okay? Yeah. Granted, I shouldn't like try to like time th- everything out to the very last minute, but I'm like, I can get through the drive through no problem. Right. There's one line that's long. There's mm-hmm. another line where there's a guy in front of the speaker, and the guy behind him like pulls around out of there. I'm like, yeah. Okay. I got behind him. What is the guy doing in the line? He's ordering online while you're in front of the drive through. Why exactly? Why would you do that? That is the dumbest thing. Because ever. you can get cheaper shamrock shakes. Okay, well yeah. then you should have done that in the parking lot at the Piggly Wiggly right next door, and then drove up and got. But it's your- more better if you just use it. So, needless to say, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff has zero patience. A lot of times, I have my my what? Which is probably, what? Which is shocking revelation. Very shocking. I have a, somebody tell his wife. Yeah, probably doesn't know. <laughs> I put on a good show for her, but. <laughs> Sometimes my you're wick, putting out a good show right now. Sometimes the wick is like this big, and I'm like, oh, I can't. Yeah. So I'm just like, I said, a, I said a choice word or three, and then I pull out, and I'm like, we're just going. That's anyway. what she said. But here's, I don't you, know how that you goes pulled together. out. Oh, <laughs> I knew you'd like it. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, so then I knew I had this, and I knew I had this, and these two together, <laughs> it's like a little marriage. Hello. Hello, let's party tonight on Team Patrick's Day. Oh my God! Okay. And and I might add I might add some Jameson before I even came here at all. Really? Well, okay. because you seem okay. perfectly right, sober. So I need to tell as you as you're hitting the horn coming into the oh, you heard driveway. That? Oh yeah. All right. And then there was when the door opens to the jeep and he screams, "It's party!" Time. All right. So I have. I have one more grievance to get off my chest. Oh, please. So please. I, we'll, we'll put you front and center. There I love go. the local. The local in Muskego, great food, great food. <laughs> but and that's where we got our food today. I got a Reuben. Tim got a meatball, meatball sandwich, sorry, which huge. was the biggest meatball yeah. sandwich he ever had. It was gigantic. But yeah. here's the thing. He had to eat it with a fork and a knife. But here's yes. the thing. Now, listen now. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to listen. Usually, I can call, I'm also I can call and say, hey, and they're like, oh, Jeff, it's you, huh? Because I ordered The it. Jeff. Yeah. The Jeff. But I couldn't get through because they're like, Oh, the mailbox you have received is not established. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I called it again, thinking I made a mistake. I don't usually make mistakes, but maybe I did. So I called it again. <laughs> and it still did. So then I go up there, so I'm a little perturbed. So I Really? Go, and the, the girl up there, is, she got all of her little shamrock stuff on. And I'm like, hey, she's like, what's wrong? I go, yeah. I go, I couldn't call in. She goes, really? I go, yeah. So I go, I have to place an order. So then I had to stand up there and place an order. And then, then I drank when I was up there. Really? Because you kind of hid that fact yeah. that you've been Oh, drinking. but then the real thing that Tim yeah. wanted me to mention is Devontae Adams from the Green Bay Packers is now a Las Vegas Raider. Right. We didn't say that yet. Now you have. Okay, let's get into the show. I'm done. All right, yeah, and I believe you go first this week, Jeff. All right, so I got a lot to say. Well, we're all excited about that. Okay, so my movie is, Do they? are you going to put the little things? Oh, here. Come on, Tim. No. Make sure you reach out to Jeff at jeff at otherworldlyculture.com. We usually forget that. And so. if you want to send me some of this. <laughs> all right. But, <laughs> jeff at otherworldlyculture.com. And I'll send you, I'll send you one of our free t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. They there it is. Dedcom. All right. You hate Wait, that poster. That one, that what one. is wrong with that poster? You know you have to do poster. opposite. I got to go point this way to right. go that way. Correct. Interesting. Billy Zane. Oh, can I say something about Billy Zane first? Sure. When you watch this movie, did you watch it for the t- this week, or are you? Doing I always memory? watch them. Okay. So, do you not? It's get, a great movie. My wife said the same thing, and when she said it, I didn't say anything to her. And when she said, it, I'm like, "Yep." Did you get a Ben Affleck read off of him? I uh, at that point in his career, yeah, you, you get that. A definite Ben Affleck could play that role. A definite one, right? I I also thought. Billy Zane probably would have been a pretty good Superman. Yeah, look at the curl. Yeah, I, when I was watching jawline, it, yeah, I was like, you know, he probably would have been pretty good at Superman. Different world, you know. Yeah. But and then and then who's who's the guy that's married to her? What's his name? Sam Neill. Sam Neill. That lucky, there's three characters in your I movie today. That lucky there's, that lucky sob. 39-year-old, he's got a 19-year-old wife. Come yep. on. Yep. Uh, he actually, you know, in, a, in an interview in 2021, he actually said he's embarrassed 
of the age difference in that. And I, he seemed like a stand-up guy, so I, I actually... I, 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 I believe he does, but it, this is, it, you know, mm. probably the second movie people mentioned was Sam Neill. If you're talking about Sam Neill, it's like Jurassic you Park. talk about Jurassic Park, but this would probably be the second movie. Right. I didn't even know that he was the same guy until I watched this movie. Because, now wait, so then people there, hold on. Okay, hold on. everybody, hold on and wait so for here's, Jeff. Here's the deal. Okay, so when I so when I worked at Farmer, I worked the at The drinking farm. game, by the way, is every time Jeff tells me to hold on or wait, that's one shot. It's three shots every time I interrupt Jeff. Okay, Jeff. 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 You're probably. I'm I a think, Jeff thing. I think you're. Today. I think you're drinking. No, no, listen, because I know it's not true. But no, listen, hold on. That's. No. I'm. I'm giving it a look. Okay, but come on. Keep going. All right. No. Anyway. So now listen. So when I used to work at Farmore, when I used to work at Farmore, <laughs> people would come up to me and they say, "Hey, Jeff." Hey, Jeff. Because I had my name tag on Jeff. Right. Um, what's a good movie? Did it say I'm, Jeff or Jeff? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> you know, at one point they said employee of the month because I, I remember that you were employee of the month because when I went there, yeah. you pointed it out to me. Hey, look at this. Yeah. So anyways, so back, back to brass tacks here. So yeah. they would come up to me and they say, Hey, what's a good movie? I'm like dead calm because somebody told me dead calm was a really good movie. I want to apologize to everybody. Oh, come on. That this was, I built it up way better than you what it are out of your mind. So, so first of all, I'm, I'm apologizing. Now, the second thing is Wait, greatest movies. Ever now, made. the second thing is that movie poster cover is yeah. stupid. That's the dumbest movie poster <laughs> cover that I've ever seen in my whole life. I, I mean, it, is, is her head supposed to be a boat? I mean, she's not dead. <laughs> It's dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> is that supposed to be a boat? Right. Think about okay. it. Okay. So anyways, okay. now let's get into the movie. It. Yeah. So the reason why this movie... Is so awesome. Sucked. Is, it's awesome. No, because... So for the for 99% of this movie, there's three people in the movie. Okay? Yes. Which, in my mind, when I would tell people this movie, I'm like, this is kick-ass because there's only three people. And so it's a thriller and people... Oh, that's another thing. In my mind, this is not a horror movie. So if you're thinking about horror movies, people, this will not do anything for you. So anyways, but it's not. Tim, it's my All opinion. Right. It's my All opinion, right. right? All right. And You've this is comes before. from yeah. a seasoned horror movie. Aficionado. Aficionado. Well, I'm becoming one. So anyways, so now listen, hold on. Now wait, hold on a second. Whoa, people are loaded up. You got to slow down. So I like. <laughs> you're getting really drunk. Oh, right I'm now. not drunk. Watch this. No, no, no. I'm saying the people watching the oh. show are. Oh, I got Because there's a few weights and the whole ads that just occurred. All right, so hold on. Now, hold on. <laughs> it's All right, whatever. Bad. So anyways. So now, wait a hold second. On. Now, you got hold me on. in a... Hold, hold on. on. Hold on. I need this. Tim, I'm in, I'm in like a, a vortex right now. I can't get out of it. <laughs> hold on a second. Now, wait. I can't. Tim. Tim, I can't stop. I got a freaking vortex right now. Hold on, I'll just wait. I got something to say. Tim, we're Tim, never gonna finish the show. Tim, I can't. Hold we're on. gonna be on for two hours. Okay, well, that'd be better two hours in this movie. Anyway, so oh now, come on! Hold, hold on now. Wait a second. Now wait. Just Tim, Tim, I can't stop. Now, Rod, Rod Mulliners, who's, who's Russell Bellows in this movie? I don't know. Is that the doctor? Probably. Okay, so now wait a second. <laughs> anyway, Damn it. No, just, now wait. Now there's a couple things that I need to talk about, okay? Okay. Billy Zane. Is fantastic in this Bill, movie I and guess. great. Oh, oh, okay. So why don't you just review the movie? Well, since no, you seem to no, have it wrong. No, listen, no, listen, hold on, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Billy Zane plays an awesome part in this movie. He is yes. fantastic. He is the most psycho person that I've ever watched in a movie. Honest to God. His role Huh. <laughs> no, his role his role he does this so well. I mean, we kidded about Jennifer Aniston winning a, an Academy Award, or whatever. If they found a way to get him into like an Academy Award for this movie, I mean, he plays it so well. He's just off the charts, right? Now, as far as Sam Neill, 
I would like to know. I would like to have taken count of how many words he actually spoke in this movie. He doesn't speak much. See, You're right about that. What, what he got paid per? I watch this stuff. I don't just. I don't just mail this stuff in. Don't I try know. to make me swear. All right, and then Nicole Kidman. She's not to me. I don't. I don't like her in the in the role at all. I don't really. I don't because. There's just some really lame stuff that goes on, and she doesn't even pull it off good. I mean, okay, so... Well, she did pull it off. No, he actually, Billy Zane did. And did you know that <laughs> Billy Zane, when he pulls off her shorts, there was no... Um, those weren't pull-away shorts. He actually had that much aggression and... <laughs> Strength. And, and Okay, yeah. That he just ripped those off. If, if there's only one scene that you watch in yeah. this movie, watch that, because it's amazing how he just pulls her shorts off. I'm not saying it for any kind of like sexual things. I'm just saying the fact that I know now that there was no rips in that shorts and he ripped those apart with his bare hands, that's pretty pretty amazing. He was in great shape at that particular point in the He life. reminds me a lot of myself. So it was almost like watching myself, but I'm not a psycho like him. But anyways, so Billy Zane has also played this type of a role in a couple other movies mm -hmm. in Survival Island and in Titanic. He's always the second fiddle. He's the one that wants the woman, but the woman doesn't want him. Right. So keep that in mind. Tim, I, I I'm Tim, keeping it Tim, in mind. I know because you're probably like, oh, there's questions here. But anyways, so listen to this. Hold on. So this movie. So here, let's get down to brass tacks. So what happens is, and I'm not going to give anything away, but what happens is, okay. so Sam Neill, who's John Ingram, and his wife, Nicole Kidman, who's Ray Ingram. I like that name Ray, by the way. Ray? Yeah. You know that they filmed this off of the coast of of Australia? Yep. And she's Australian? She had made... I'm trying to remember what my trivia question so I don't give it away. But she had made a few very low-budget Australian films. Uh, BMX Bandits is the <laughs> only one I know of off the top of my head. No, there's and other ones. This was, this was hey. the movie that um, kind of propelled her but I think her breakout role was one that we watched two seasons ago, Days of Thunder. Yeah. It wasn't two seasons. Yeah, it was. She had okay. the same kind of hair in that movie. So anyways, now back to the show. I remember it, it, the first time I saw this film. Do you, do you know where it was? Mm -hmm. Probably budget cinemas. you damn right. Yep. And I, I got interested in the movie because of the trailer you were making fun of before the show. It was ridiculous. And oh, I got so much to say. In that, in oh that trailer, God. I was like, Sigourney Weaver made a new movie. I thought she looked, she was the spitting image of Sigourney Weaver. I'm sorry. I when I that. first saw it. I get that. And then, well, now you look at her, you go, oh, that's Nicole Kidman. But at the time, she was a nobody. Nobody knew who the hell she was. And I went to see it because I'm like, I, I like Sigourney Weaver. And I absolutely loved this film. You can't get away from it when you're in the theater. I could see if you watched this movie and you stopped it and grabbed a popcorn nope. and stopped it to nope. take a leak, I could see where it would lose some of its nope. its oomph. But I I think it's just a driving film. So back to the movie that was okay. awful. Anyways, All right. no, it wasn't awful, but here's the thing. Now listen, okay? So... John Ingram and Ray Ingram, they go on this boat because they have to get over something. They had a, an accident that happened, and they're going out, and they're going to float around and do the yacht thing, whatever. I thought it was kind of cool. They had a dog, and um, yep. so then they're out there. Then they see this boat, and and John Ingram, being a guy who's in the Navy, mm -hmm. is like, hey, that thing looks in, like it's in trouble. We better go figure this stuff out. you know. And then all of a sudden, you see Billy Zane. Billy Zane's paddling his boat to their boat. Yep. Well, his dinghy. And they let him on. But, I mean... You I learn a lot about yachting you do. in this film. Did you know that she was trained? And that yes. towards the end she was actually running that boat? Yeah. That yacht? But it's amazing, yeah. it's amazing though, with this movie... I didn't know such ships existed. That he like had the, They had a great motor in them where you could go around the Pacific Islands... And uh, it has the sail where you yeah. just press a button and sh up it goes. Yeah. Uh, and then it had radar on that thing. I was like, that's cool. As far as My yacht, I don't know as well because the, 
the captain takes care of all that. No, it's you know, I and the staff takes care of me, brings below, out the caramels and the virgins. So watch, watch below deck season nineteen. <laughs> You'll see Tim's yacht on there. Okay, right. So, anyways, why do you think there's a motor one of them? Where do you think one they, of them is in there? Where, I didn't have all. Where of do you them. think they got the term motorboating from? Well, that comes from when a young man sticks his face Tim, into Tim, the Tim, Tim, well, Tim, 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 no? Tim, 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 Anyway, okay. so back back to the show. All right, All right. So, so okay, so they Billy Zane's on there like, hey, he's kind of screwed up. They think he's a little screwed up, right? So they lock him in a room. Right. Sam Neill, who plays John Ingram, he jets off. Not doesn't jet off. He rolls over to the other thing, to the other boat. But the reason why is because he doesn't want to turn the motor on, which I think, in my opinion, they should turn the motor on because he's locked in the room anyways. But in order to make this movie an hour and a half of dread or boringness or whatever, they had to have him boat over to the other place, check it out. It turns out that Billy Zane's a murderer. So now he's got to get back by his wife. And at this time, things are going haywire because Billy Zane's loose. On, he's on the loose. But you know what, though? The thing of it is, though, Tim, think about this, though. So, okay. So I get, I get the fact that Billy Zane's like, he had a bit... He does such a good job in this because he's so screwed up, but for some reason he lets Nicole Kidman roll, reel him in and they do their thing. But Well, I in its tr- defense, she's awful cute. I understand that, but I mean... Okay. I just... I don't get where... I I don't get why there's not... Like, more people aren't dead faster. So, I mean, with her... I mean, I don't even know. I don't even want to say it, but... Okay, so then she finds a way to, to... So your complaint was there wasn't enough murder. Maybe, maybe... Now you know where I am on all your movies. Maybe, maybe you uh, <laughs> maybe you corrupted me. But it's just... <laughs> the movie was very slow. Okay, so let's get down to it. The okay. movie was very, 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 very slow moving. I, I that just, I, I, I I'll, didn't, I'll agree with you I, on that. I, don't, I didn't really get... I didn't really dig it. Three people, okay. it was slow moving... Um, there was a lot of scenes that were not, like, could never have happened, and it just, I mean, <laughs> the final scene. Anyways. Well, but, the final scene, I'll agree with you, the final scene is and, ridiculous. And the thing where, okay, I want, I don't want to give it away because, okay, if somebody wants to watch this, you know what, watch it, but I never told you to watch it, but when, when Nicole Kidman's there's, character. There's a hundred people that are ex farmer customers that beg to differ no they're all you. pissed at me right now. i hope they don't ever watch this show <laughs> but if you do watch this show send me some sheepdog sheep peanut money. butter whiskey so back to this real quick so yeah. even that part where nicole kidman's character yes. disposes of billy zane's character mm-hmm. i just i would have done more i i just i they left what they did tim is they left too many open doors to make this movie go Long further. That's why I think it dragged on because they left this door open so something else can happen. They left this open. You know what? Let's let's tighten this stuff yeah. up. So I'm done. I think it was an okay movie. An okay movie, which means it's time for you to give us your grade. Okay, so my grade is going to be my grade plus one for Tim. Okay, for getting Notre Dame. Okay, so what is it? <laughs> Three. Wow. I'm yep. surprised. Yep, this is not... It, I'm surprised. Not, now, did you watch this with the wife or yeah. just Tango? No, I watched it with my wife. Did she like it? No. Really? Yeah, okay. It was, it was just too slow moving for us. It was just, That's interesting, because I I freaking love this movie. Okay. I, I love it to death. Okay. But uh, I'm, I'm sorry that you didn't. I never willingly... I'll tell you what. ...give you a movie that I think you won't like. I know. I want... I'll be honest with you. I wanted to really like this. I wanted to come in here and hmm. give this a nine, eight, whatever. But it just, it, I couldn't get I, over it. I couldn't I, get to that. You know, having rewatched it, I'm like, oh, this is a slow burn. I'm not sure if Jeff's going to like this. No. I, I have to admit. Don't don't worry. I'm already working on next season's movies. Yeah, I do too. All right. Anyway, uh, you know what time it is Wait, in the show? Before you get to what time it is, you never introduced me. He's Jeff Miller. No, you usually write something up. Yes, I do. Hold on. But that's I, okay. uh, hold on. No. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Jeff's fan club boasts members such as Treat Williams, Jerry O'Connell, Stephen King, Ugh. Robin Yount, and Mick Garris. I only know one, two people on there. 
I only know two of them. Mick Garris and Stephen King, right? No, Robin Yount and Stephen King. Who's Mick oh. Garris? You'll find out. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so anybody who I requested, anybody who I, I refer this to at Farmore, the statute of limitations is up, so don't come after me. And it was three, right? Okay. Yeah, three. It would have right. been a two. Think about it. Think about it. It would have been a two. And I gave a two to Black Sheep, and I gave a two to that one yeah. with, the, with the bear traps. Which one was that one? Oh, that was the collector. Um, is. The, collector is. the collector. That's stupid. It's called the collector. All right, let's get to our halfway point. All right. <clears throat> that means I hit that button. Why is it still on? Because that's the, one of the best basketball movies ever. Yeah, but that's not supposed to be on. O O O N N N E E. You know, you're going to have to explain that to me later. Oh, well, maybe you got it. Maybe you picked up on it. In the no, there's no way I picked up on that. Come on. All right. So, Come on. you know what time it is. It might be a trivia question. What time is it? Uh, it's time for one of these buttons to work. Here we go. Yes. There's, There's a, a new, new merch in town. <laughs> so, it made the merch money. Look at this sexy thing. You could be wearing this on a shirt very soon. It's our new merch. <laughs> yeah. Merch. Merch. Hit your dead on the bases merch right now. And you can open it up in the Kiko style. Yes. The Timbers. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That's, That's my, a great place. That was a I actually went there for lunch today. But it's called. Why it's is called this? what now? It, it's called Betsamori. You know this. I bring it I, up all the time. I wanted you to answer. Yeah, okay. That was the second job I ever had. I was bu I bust tables there at the Timbers. While it was still Timbers? Yeah. Wow. Yep. And I had... What was first? Was Budget Cinemas first? For my first job was Schultz's. It was at a department store. That's where Wheel and Sprocket went, and now it's uh, Auto Motor I thought cars. that was Drew's. No, 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 no. It's in Hales Corners, and it's strip mall with by Big Apple Bagels. Yeah. There's a Schultz's. There was a Schultz's there. I don't remember. And then after Schultz's. that, I went to um, I went to the Timbers, and I worked with an Asian woman, a girl, a woman from Britain, and a woman from Texas. And I only remember two of their names. One of them's name was Belle. Okay. And one of them's name was... I, I saw even, her in Beauty and the Beast. Nope, I don't remember the two other names. But it was funny because... They, well, you had the one with the Asian woman had an accent, and you had the Texas woman with an accent, and you had the the Irish, not the Irish, the English woman with the accent. It was and then you have an accent. That's what people tell me. Yeah. So, and then from there, then yeah. I went to budget. Okay. And then, um, yeah, I had something to say about the Timbers, but I can't remember what. You know well, what I mean? you'll you know have I mean? time oh. while we put this up. Remember to email the show. Uh, what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. You know how much I made an hour there at the Timbers? Uh, okay. I'm, this was mid '80s. Legit. This is. You legit. were probably minimum wage or close to. Remember, I'm bussing tables, so I'm getting a tip. I'm getting a percentage of. Tips. I'm gonna say no more than four dollars. No! Oh, two dollars and one cent. An okay, hour. so you were below minimum wage, but you got the tip. Okay. Two hundred one an hour. Wow. You know what I started at, at Budget Cinemas? Three twenty-five an hour. Wow, you were swinging it. Hell yeah, man. Man, so two people going into the theater paid for you for an hour. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you yeah. were pretty important. You know how many seats were at Budget Cinemas? You do. I do. One thousand nine hundred and forty-five. Let's even remember that. Yeah, I know. Unbelievable. Anyways, so hey, thanks for listening to my review, and now we're gonna see Tim's. Well, first oh, we're gonna remind oh, yes. everybody. Oh my coming God. up May thirteenth and fourteenth. Yes. Ohio Fan Fest will hear hit Gerard, Ohio, uh, which Where's is that? near like Youngstown. Youngstown, mm -hmm. yeah, uh -huh. Youngstown Penguins. They play in the Horizon League. What's that? That's the league that the UWM Panthers play in basketball. Oh, it's basketball. Yeah. Are they in? Uh... UWM didn't make it. Oh. They had a terrible team. It was a terrible team. They had Patrick Baldwin Jr. Who's supposed to be the superstar? He's like the the fourth greatest ball player in the in this. His dad's the coach, right? Well, no, he's fired oh. now, man. Well, oh, okay. and then they had then they had uh, what's his name? They had Manu Bowl. Remember Manu Bowl? Mm -hmm. They had his nephew on that team. Well, so it was the sibling or the the nepotism. Yeah, and team. then okay. and then 
They had Vin Baker's kid on there. They had Vin wow. Baker's kid, Manu Pohl's nephew, and Patrick Baldwin Jr. And now, is Patrick stuck. Baldwin the one that shoots people in Westerns? Who? Patrick Baldwin. No, that's... um. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Yeah. I, I got that wrong. I'm sorry, everybody. The guy that likes to murder people in but, his movies is Alec Baldwin. But Ohio Fan Fest. Ohio I wish I could go to that. Fest. I wish I could go to that. Yeah, well, you, I can't. you can't. Your, got, your got wife's got birthday, the yeah. birthday. But uh, we're going to have fun in your stead. And we're going to ruthlessly send you pictures of stuff that's cool. You know what? You guys say that, that but you don't do it. You're right. I don't do that. See, that sucks. You know what the cool thing about the word Ohio is? <laughs> what? It's round on both ends and high in the middle. <laughs> this is the comedy that you get here. Hey. I'm can, dead on the base. Can you name one? Hey, so hey, like any what? anybody that's going to be at this Ohio Fan Fest, do you know any names? Well, Julie Brown is the okay. one I'm. I'm very downtown, interested. In. Julie no, Brown. not downtown. This is the good Julie Brown. Oh, the the one that's easy. <laughs> that made the Earth Girls <laughs> are easy. Yes, yes. But uh, there's it, people from Teen Wolf cool. are going to be. Oh, in the it. one kid, that, and, number yeah. fifty-five. Right, he's going to be in there. there it's going to be a fun group. A lot of AEW wrestlers say, who wrestlers. they I don't know because I'm an old fart. If it, if yeah. they never wrestled Randy Macho Man Savage, <laughs> I have a hard time knowing who they are. Do you are. remember Randy Macho Man Savage love interest? Elizabeth? Yes, Miss Elizabeth. Yeah, and they uh watch the dark side of the ring about him, really? he, um, it gets awful dark. Did, did they snap into a Slim Jim? <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you remember Sable? Sable is good too. Oh my god, yeah, Rena Miro, she's she's now with Brock Lesnar. Oh my god, really? Brock's yeah. a tool, yeah. Well, well, no way, I, I say don't it. say that. That guy will come over here and beat yeah. you up. Remember that? Wait, wait, let me get let me get a tattoo down the middle of my chest that looks like a sword. Oh, I'm gonna get you. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, I'm supposed to hit this one too. There we go. Uh, I have a movie. Wait, what about your? What about which your is only a movie by the loosest definition of a film, because it it was put on a film media, and they photographed you're it. Being, you're being. Wow. And they 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 put Just this wow thing people. out there. Wow. Warner Brothers released this uh, wow. on the unwilling public. Wow! Uh, just back in done. 1977. Wow! Uh, it has Robbie Benson in it, and he and his father wrote the script to this while apparently being just incredibly inhibited by some form of uh, chemical, or or perhaps not true. they were beat on the head it's and they true. were recovering what? from a head injury. I dropped some. Sorry. Good thing the lid was on. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it would never come out. Uh, okay, so what's what's the story of this said. movie? <laughs> this this movie is about as by the numbers as you might think. Uh, Robbie Benson is a high school prospect. Uh, he gets recruited to a college team. The college coach doesn't really like him much. Uh, he has trouble with his classwork, so he's got a tutor that he falls in love with. I have something. And, yes. I have something to say. Yes. So, Robbie Benson. Yeah. His his team, Henry Steele, that's his name in the movie. Right. So, he goes to Western University. It's yeah. supposed to be UCLA. That's okay. what they're playing it off as. All right. Just so you know. That's all. Okay. Um, I think I something. Okay, that's good. I have more to answer. Now, at oh the beginning God, of the movie... Whatever. Okay, go ahead. What? No. At, at the beginning of the movie, Charles Fleischer is actually on screen. You don't know who that is, do you? I do. Yeah, he... No, I don't. He, for a second, uh, blows a trumpet when, uh, at that time, they're showing off, okay, Robbie Benson's like this hotshot player... Uh, and he's in the band, and he plays the trumpet. I recognized him instantly. I'm like, is he in here? I'm built, and he's. I think he's billed as high school student. What? He is the guy that was the voice of Roger Rabbit. Get out of here! Yes, he's a really? stand-up comedian. 
Uh, he was real big in the 80s. Uh, so I recognized him immediately. Are the you other really interesting cameo, which you referenced in the opening that you think I don't listen to, but I listen to intently, Why would you say was that? Melanie Griffith was <laughs> in this. And she played a hitchhiker that, uh, and this movie actually came out before Roar. Which uh, yeah, you'll be seeing. That too. You'll you'll be seeing that next season. Is she in that? Yes, she is. Uh, she she is all over that movie like a lion on Melanie Griffith. Do you? And they. <laughs> this will be funnier when you get to see that movie. I <laughs> uh, but Melanie Griffith plays like a a hitchhiker that she's cute and she gets him to drive her. And then she steals all his money by saying, I'm going to yell rape, and uh, you better give me all your money. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, well, they probably put this scene in to show that Robbie Benson was easily manipulated by women. And very naive. Right, and very naive. What it really shows is that he's possibly a retard. Tell uh, him. The other thing tell that it possibly... Yeah. Okay, if he's not retarded, yeah. it's got to be glue, or lewds, or powder, or yeah, blow, or showing, Buddha, no, or crack, no, 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 or showing. maybe it's butter, or maybe it's marijuana, coke, reefer, pot, weed, dope, grass, a doobie, a spliff, maybe he's taking some ecstasy, maybe a blunt, a bud, a dab, it's got to be something, because yeah. nobody is as dumb as he he's very, pretends to be he's in his movie. very naive. He just no small town naive. No, There's he no. was dropped okay. on his head no. and kicked repeatedly no. in the head, and then they pulled out the sledgehammer to make sure it was no. gooey. They're showing that he comes from a small Colorado town. And he's going to the big city of L.A. That's the whole thing. It's small town. It'd just be like it'd be like you or me going to like L.A. Same thing. We're coming from Mexico. I... <laughs> I'm serious. The way he talks through the first half of this movie. Okay. I'm sorry. He will, was reading off cue cards, or he's just a dummy. Tim, I will give you that. He, the, his voice in this sucks because he's like whispering every time he's talking. I don't like it. So yes, I agree with you. 100%. It it is horrible. It is he, hard to watch. It's surprising that he got he did any other acting after this. It it really is. It is. I'm serious. It, it really is, and it, it, it's it's really. I mean, it's boring. It's okay. Now we're going to do a. And here's the other thing. Yep. You're supposed to buy in that this guy's like the greatest basketball player and no. this coach is somehow being no. tough on him. No. But, well, he was good enough that he yes. was recruited. Yes, with a four year scholarship, no cut. Yes. Right. Right. But he wasn't so, the greatest. Okay, but. You look at him in every scene. I mean, take a look at some of these pictures. He's so small. Tell me when <laughs> he's taller than any other character. You're Annette right, O'Toole, right. Annette O'Toole, this little waif of a girl that made her next movie or Very two beautiful. more movies yep. after that. She, you know who her leading man was in another movie? Martin Short. You know why? Because they were the same height. Okay? I, I mean... It, it, it's unbelievable yes, that I this guy is saying. in a college game. And then I get that. And then they show him, you know, like, okay, he's really doing this stuff. And I'm like, every single thing they're showing is a trick shot. Okay? It's all a trick shot. It's behind the back. It's this, it's that. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, well, this is like those YouTube videos where the guy sinks them from half court. And yeah. it's like, yeah, where's the 55 times he missed? You know? And I'm watching this thing, and I'm going, if I was to coach, I'd want to beat this guy with a box, a bag of hammers, too. I, he, he doesn't listen. He's he's flunking out of everything, unless he gets some of that good, good sex with a netto tool. You don't know if that's what he was doing. Yeah, he definitely was. No. Uh, but, and again, There's okay, no he sex. falls in love with the tutor. What was that other movie we had, the football movie? <laughs> North Where, Dallas 40? No, not North Dallas 40. The program? The program. They they had the whole tutor thing that, oh, I'm in love with my tutor. But, and you're sitting there and you're like, oh, they're showing off how they do uh, payoffs 
to the college students okay, by go. giving tickets go. to the to the guys. How about his yeah. job? How about his job? Did you like his job? His job is like watching grass grow. Is yeah, that what he has it was? To go there and watch the sprinklers go. The on. sprinklers go on, and then it, there's uh, a scene, of course, where he gets all hopped up on the goofballs, and Tim's all of a sudden part, he can Tim's play. I I was like. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Everybody, make sure you get your checklist out at the I, beginning I of the it. movie. You know, I, get I, your checklist out. We got to hit this button. I saw this movie as a kid. All yeah. right, and I wanted to watch it again. That's why I assigned it to you. But I knew yeah. what was in it. I'm like, I'm just waiting for it. I'm just waiting for the drugs. You know, and I'm waiting for this. And it, it, that. If it was just that scene, I went, well, okay, you know, they got to do that. It's a college thing. But Jesus Christ, I mean, there's no way you would recruit somebody to this stuff. And then the other thing, here's the part that really gets me. At one point, the coach, he's like, well, you know, you were pretty slick the way you talked me yeah, into yeah, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sitting there, and I'm like, they showed the scene of him recruiting him, yeah, yeah, yeah. and slick is not the right word. Like, complete bumbling idiot moron was the word. Uh, and he didn't have his parents with him when he's getting recruited, which I was like, right, his right, dad right. is so into this whole thing. Why would he not be there? I I was just like, oh. how about how about when the, the hard to like anything? How about when the secretary was hitting on him? I you know what that was actually <laughs> I'll I'll be honest that was interesting to me because what? it was something. That I hadn't seen in 300 of these other movies where oh, it's good. like the, I did good then. the actress and her name's BJ. Is that what her name is? Guess why? Yeah, it's right there. <clears throat> Gail Strickland. Oh, yeah. BJ. You, you know why? Billy Joel. Right. They were listening to Billy Joel, Billy Joel in the car when they get pulled over and he has to bribe the cops with tickets to the game because. He's getting a Billy Joel when he zips oh up his God, his pants. God. Anyways, <laughs> anyways. You know no, what it does no. have, though? Yes. Yes, it does. Can I give one? Where's the horror? I, I can give one. Hold on. I'm very upset right now. <clears throat> I pressed the button, right? Yeah, well. All right, you go ahead. I'm going to I know where there's out. a horror movie connection. I know where there is. I know. I wonder if you got it. There it is. Okay. I wonder if you got it. All right, go okay. ahead. Okay, I'll, I'll just, tell you, I got them written down. Well, I don't want to see it because I want you to think that I stole right. it off of there. Go ahead. It's a Netto tool. Yes. She was in Cats with Natasha Kinska. And the name of the movie is Cat People for yep, other that's people. That's what I meant. <laughs> and uh, well, yes, wait. she is. So then, you know she what? You don't drink people. a lot of the sheep dog when you're trying to do. Sheep dog, peanut butter whiskey. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, but yes, Cat People. Yeah. I remember that movie when that came out. They. they you were I, old enough to see that no, when it, it came on, out? it was on like HBO. And I, okay. And we had HBO. Because I was about to say, that was no, a... No, 83. Um, that was like 1983. Yeah, it was a racy movie. Is, is that... It was vigorous. Yes, but she was on. She was in Sports Illustrated, not Tasha Kinska. And I'm like, I got... Annette O'Toole. No. Nope. I remember Annette O'Toole from one of the Superman movies. She yep. played Lana Lang. Yep. Which one was that? I think it was... Three. It was three, and the thing of it is yeah. that she also p played the mother in Smallville. Did right, you know? right. Damn, and she was, she was good in that. Now, Annette Tool yeah. was also in, in Alfred Hitchcock Presents, which Robbie Benson was also in an episode of Alfred Hitchcock no Presents, which makes it interesting. But Annette Tool also was in the TV miniseries version of It!, that came out like in the eighties with Tim Curry. Does that count as a horror movie connection? Does that count? I think so. I think so. It's okay. it's usually released well, as one four we'll, hour movie. We'll or play something. Tim's rules. All right. <laughs> All right, Robbie Benson. Uh, as I just he said, Alfred one. Hitchcock presents. Uh, he. Played the Beast in Beauty and the Beast. He was the voice of that. That's, That's not Disney horror. Movie. That's not horror. That's not horror. My horror movie connection would be he was in the movie Wait Until Dark, which is actually a really good movie. Uh, I think it's Audrey Hepburn. And she plays a blind woman. 
and these criminals come and uh, to her house, break in, figure out she's blind, and they're just they're terrible. That's they're terrible. terrible to That's it. not. I will never it's want to watch so that. It's so scary. It's so scary. Is he one of the? Is he one of the robbers? Yes. I, is he really? I a think. Dick? I what think he's knob? like the. I think he plays kind of the naive, stupid robber. What tips. a knob! I would not take that role yeah. if I was him. Uh, Lamont Johnson. Who's that? Who directed this bestial film? Yep. Uh, also directed Twilight Zone episodes in the original run. We're talking the 1960s version, and uh, he did direct Five Characters in Search of an Exit, which is one of the best episodes. Of Twilight Zone that came in the 1961 uh, season. Here's the thing. That proves that this guy could direct a film. Yet he chose not to in this case. A, God, that's so terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. Come you, on. No, that's, that's, hey, you're the coach, the coach in this. Where did you see him before? You saw him in another movie that we watched. Um, it came out around the same time. So he kind of got typecast in this role. Yeah. As, a, as a prick coach. Yeah, which one was it? I mentioned it. Was it North ago. Dallas 40? Yep, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he was he was like the lead coach, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Which, I he was okay. He was okay. He played the same role, so I mean. Yes. All the way up with I'm not a coach. fan of North Dallas 40 either, as you yeah. recall. So, eh. I think it's time for me to do my score on Wait this. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. So, were you not at the edge of your seat at the, like in the last like the last game? I was so out of the movie by that time when they they had the last scene. I was like, whatever happens now, whatever. I need to ask I you this: though, Did you watch this straight through, or did you just take breaks? This one I watched straight through. Okay, so in this which type of- it had a cumulative effect. I think I would have liked it more had I taken a break. I was going to say you should take breaks. I should have because I was just I, I felt I felt that old friend sleep wanting to get it into my system. Okay, before you give it a rating, yeah. No, I'll give you let you give the rating and then I'll tell you what I think. Okay, I don't want to influence you. I'm I'm going to give it a four. Okay, good. Which I feel is very generous. It is. It is not what I gave it on Track TV. I gave it like a one. Uh, oh, on IMBD, I gave it a nine. <laughs> just to fuck with them. So, Anyways, listen. So hey, hit it, hit it, here's, here's damn it. Thing. So honestly, yeah. when I watched this now again, yeah, you hated it. It was I didn't hate it, but it was you very, it. it was very. Slow. Oh my god, it's so bad. I actually fast forwarded through this parts that I wanted to see because yeah. I couldn't actually deal with it. So you know what? My so, problem with this sports movie is it's a little too sportsy. It's all about the sports and the story that's behind it is inconsequential. Okay. All right. You know, there's but, there's nothing to hang the meat on. But <laughs> that's what she said. Anyways, I was waiting. <laughs> but anyway, oh wait, wait, hold on, oh oh hold that. Got a, a new, new one. one. That's what she said profusely. What yeah. happened to that part of it? Eh, it it kind of made it look chunky. So. Oh, chunky. Yeah. <laughs> was it a female? We're worried about what it looks like. <laughs> anyways, listen. So, anyways, I just wanted to let you know that I'm not always about the sports movies. If I if I pick a bummer or, or a bad one, I can admit it. I, this was not that good of a movie. And and I'll admit, you, you, I'll admit to you, I'll admit to you. When I I gave you Dead Calm, I still love that movie. I love it to death. But as I'm watching, I'm like, I don't think this is Jeff's. No, I don't think it's Jeff. And Even though it is technically a sports movie as well. Because it's about the uh, sport of yachting. There you go. You learn a lot about yachting in that movie. I, you I feel you learn a lot. I in was surprised movie. how much you knew, but the thing that was crazy is when she ended up way up on the top of the bow. Are you kidding yeah. me? There's no way she's getting up there. There's oh, I could. All right, who's asking whose question first? Well, first we wait for this. Oh. It's trivia time, everybody. Here's how we play trivia here on Dead on the Bases. We're each going to say three statements. One of them is completely false. The other two are completely true. The The opposing player has to figure out which one is false. All right. So I think I'll go first because okay. you spoiled like half of my questions. There's no way. So here we go. Um, the director of this film, Philip Noyce, 
went on to make the film The Hunt for Red October. You know, do you think when he was like in high school, he was like, noise. Noise. Hey, you know, over in Australia, that's how they say it. Noise. Do they really? It's fair dinkum that he's doing that. He's so noise. Shrimp on the Barbie. There you go. Oh, yeah, All right. right. Oh, wait. Hey. Hey. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Why is the background not going on again? Okay. Yeah, this is happening again a, where my a, my device is a, dying on me. We need me. a better producer on this show. It, you know what I need? I need a lackey to do this stuff for me. His, his name who's, would be who's, Trondor. Who's, who's, lact, who's lactating what? No. no all right, let's That's on. not what we're saying. Uh, is okay. Selma Hayek in this movie at all? She is not. You would have noticed her. You know what movie just came out with her? After the sunset, I recorded it. That's a great movie. I'm okay. sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Orson Welles, this is letter B, Orson Welles originally attempted to adapt this novel, uh, the same novel that this film was based upon. Mm, okay, let's see. And C, <laughs> now I gotta change it, because you, you knew this one. Uh, let's see, where's my other backup? Okay. We're going to go with uh, Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Whatever. Has magnificent bone structure. Okay, that's that's the third one. So, director is film. So, they basically have to pick between on... the two of them. All right. So, but you know what, though, Tim? I know this. It is true that she has magnificent bone structure, but some people might debate it. Anyways, it's debatable. Anyways, so <laughs> here's the thing, though, Tim. Tim. Here's the thing. Tim, listen, Tim, wait, listen. listen. Orson Welles originally attempted to adapt, adapt the adapt. novel, this film based... The, wait, no, what? Because... Okay, there was a book that yes, this movie was that. based upon. Yes. Orson Welles attempted to adapt it first. Okay, no. And then... I wanted to pick the false one, right? Mm -hmm. And the other one is, the director of this film, Philip Noyce. Noyce. The direct, did he direct this movie, though? Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't he went lie on about to that. make the film Hunt for Red. So did he direct it or did he write it? He directed it. Oh, shit. You know what, Tim? He's a director. Tim, I pay attention to what's going on in this stuff and I, I read up on it. But see the the only like the only like twist in this whole thing is this whole Orson Welles thing. Mm -hmm. Because I know that he tried to make this movie and he had he had attempted to make this movie and it never happened. But the thing of it is, is that See, Orson, Orson Welles is so much older, so this movie, this book would have come out like before him. So, but then I'm thinking though, but I'm thinking I read that. You, you but then should I don't really read closely but those here's, trivia. But here's the deal: I'm using them against you. I know you are. You now. I know you are. And then this noise thing, I did see some about Hunt for Red October, but I don't think that's. Oh, it's that. like somebody's using it against you. So I'm gonna say that hmm. the the incorrect one. The incorrect one. I'm going to be pissed. You know, you already know I'm in a bad mood, so I'm going to be pissed if I get this wrong. He went on to make the film Hunt for Red October. It was really adapted from the film based upon... Damn now, it, Tim. now remember, you still have Nicole Kidman <laughs> as magnificent bone I'm not going for that one. <laughs> so... I should keep my mouth shut. I should keep my mouth shut during the time that we're talking. Yeah. Because then C, I would have been like, I know that's already right. Um, I'm going to say that I'm going to be pissed. A is incorrect. Okay, I'm going to get, because I don't want you to get angry. I'll give you one more chance. No, A is incorrect. You are correct. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where did the correct, C? Look at that. <clears throat> oh, that pisses me off. But it, they're supposed to see a thing that says correct so right Tim, now. So just tell, tell them where I was right so that they know. Okay, Philip Noyce did not direct The Hunt for Red October, but he did direct Patriot Games and Clear and Present Danger. Uh, Hunt for Red October was directed by John McTiernan, who directed a movie that you claim is a Christmas film, but it's clearly <laughs> an action film. Uh, All right, give me yours now. Wait, but so then, where in the where in the notes was that Red October? Because that was in there somewhere, wasn't it? I uh, Sam Neil. 
yeah, was he, in there. He was uh, he Sean Connery's uh, first in command. You rat bastard. All right. Hunt for Red October is probably the third movie somebody mentions when they talk about Sam Neill. Was he in that? Yes. You know what I, I didn't use, and I, I probably should have, was that Sam Neill was in a horror film called The Final Conflict, oh. Damien 3. I wouldn't know that. And uh, he played the devil. See, I do not want any devil movies. It sounds like he's begging for it, doesn't no. it, folks? All right, here we go. Yeah. You only since, get three. Since only I don't have three. the ability to give you an extra question. Yeah. So Jerry Siegel, the father of Robbie Benson. Yes. They both together wrote the screenplay. Yeah. The original screenplay was named Catch a Falling Star. Okay. And originally, Melanie Griffiths was cast as the tutor after Jennifer O'Neill did her screenplay, they switched her role from the hitchhiker to the tutor. Jennifer O'Neill? O'Toole, I'm sorry, O'Toole. Annette O'Toole. Same thing. I wrote Jennifer because, oh, Janet, I don't even know what I wrote. I was drinking, so whatever. But you know who I'm talking about. So Okay, when O'Toole, so the first one is father and son wrote the script. Yeah, which you already and, know that answer's right. And the... And the and the script's name was Catch a Falling Star. Right, and the other one is Melanie Griffith. Okay, let me just say it in my words. My words are Melanie Griffith was supposed to be the tutor. But uh -huh. then when Annette O'Toole Red. screenplayed for her, she, she got it. She got it, and they said, we don't want you to be the hitchhiker anymore, because that's what she went for. She went to be the hitchhiker. They flip-flopped the roles. Okay. That's it. Only two? Well, you know that, you know that the father and son... Wrote the screenplay together. We talked about that during Okay, the and I happen to know that Catch a Falling Star was the other title of this movie because I thought that was a much better title uh -huh. than One on One. I thought One on One was the worst title. I'm still waiting to hear how the I'll O and the N and yeah, all this stuff that. is going on. So I'm going to have to go with, I don't think Melanie Griffith was ever going to play the tutor. She's too dumb you know looking. I, I actually put three correct answers again in here. No, I'm just kidding. You're right, Tim. Uh, uh, okay. Tim, if I, would so. have said, if I would have said to you, in the final game, Robbie Benson scores 12 points, 3 steals, 2 assists. I would have had no idea. No, just wait. No, hear the whole thing out. Just wait. He did this in the final 3, three minutes and 20 seconds of the Spoiler movie. Spoiler alert. Ironically, that is the exact same amount that, he, that Robbie Benson put up in his high school state finals. The only twist is they lost. Would that have helped you at all? No, because you knew Catch a Rising Star is... I knew answer. Catch a Rising Star because I... Throughout the movie, I'm like, oh. why is it called one-on-one? -on -one? There's one scene where he plays one-on-one, -on -one and he gets his ass beat. So what is the He's whole played. thing with his three O's and He's. three N's and two E's? It's nothing. I just was trying to throw you off your game. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, it, actually, I was like, I hope there really is something because I thought it was a stupid, stupid, stupid thing. Okay. Oh. Anyways. Let's take a look at scores, and we each got trivia again. So... It's a tight one. It's, it's a tight one. Here's the problem, though. Here's the problem Jeff has. I know that the next two movies he's going to absolutely love. And Jeff gave me Talladega Nights, which I know in the past I've not been a fan of. So that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt you. I'm going to make it up on trivia. But that's all. You, you're going to have to. You're going to have to pull a rabbit out of your hat because you're going to freaking love. I don't know about Fly. I think you're going to freaking love the faculty. Okay, well, let's, let's preview that. So, we'll, we'll see, everybody. And you can place your bets. We do allow betting on the show. No, a lot of me does. You can go down there and get uh, odds on our... Oh, really? Yeah, they have sports betting. They, and they have dead on the bases and something you can bet on. That's cool. Yep. We were waiting for that to happen. I think it was the sponsorship of Sheepdog oh, Peanut Butter Whiskey that really did the trick. There you go, Sheepdog. Get it. Yeah. Get it while it's still there. That's oh, right. Oh, what if... Wait, what? What, if, what, what if it doesn't work? What if you do this? What if you opened it and it went... <laughs> that would be cool. Or if it just... All right. Down. Okay, everybody. The fact 
faculty. Okay. Next time here on the show. Yep. Oh, we did get to me. Good. Uh, coming yeah, March 24th. I'm going to have Talladega Nights. I've watched it once before. She is so Not hot. a huge fan. Wasn't she married to Ben Stiller? I don't. Oh her? My, are you kidding? Oh my God. He did not deserve her at all. Uh, she, no. His wife was the one in Dodgeball with them. Oh, the one that looks like Yeah. Who is she married? She's married to somebody. To me. Anyways, she, uh, yeah. she was in. But horror. Horror. Movie connection. She was in Trick or Treat. Oh yeah, she's in the yeah. first one of my of that movie. She is fantastic, right? Man. But Talladega Nights coming uh, next week, and when Jeffrey watches it, he may be coming himself. And we Tell have the faculty. Meet the alien. The this is gonna be faculty a, yeah. is coming. Wait, this is about Dr aliens. This is directed by the same guy that directed. From Dust Till Dawn that you oh, just watched. Okay. So I, you liked that movie? I think this one's is okay. It's a very different movie, okay. but I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, it does have some hot chicks in it, so that's Selma? always Selma helpful. In there? Selma. I'm Selma. not going to tell you. Is Selma Hike in this? I'm not going to tell you. Just Alba. I'm not going to tell you. Wow. I'm I'm intrigued now. Now you're intrigued. Oh, wait a second. Selma Hayek. Is now, there are no star. snakes. There are no snakes in the Selma film. Selma Hayek's name would be up there. She's probably a main character. Looks like a lot of youngins. That's what you think, right? Is she really in this? I'm not going to say. Get out of here. I'm not going to say. I might watch this tonight when I go home. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're in any shape to do that. <laughs> if Selma is in it, if Selma is in it, I am watching it. <laughs> All right, anyways, so. When you do your research, you're going to be like, holy crap. I don't. You know what? I don't do the research until after. Until I watch after the movie. you watch a movie, okay? Because I don't want to ruin it. Because right, I actually, in the trivia, and all that's that, why I'm not going to tell you for sure if she's in here or not. No, you but there's a there's a lot of cool people that are not listed on the poster that are in that movie. Really, it's it's a cool cast. Uh, some people went on to become more famous, like Ted. Uh, you know, one that's oh, on oh. the poster, one that's on the poster is Elijah Wood. That's uh, Who's that? th that's Frodo Baggins from all the um, Lord of the Rings movies. Uh, I don't know. What He's that. in there, but it, it, Usher Usher's in this movie. You know, there's a book. There's a lot of crazy characters in this film. You're going to enjoy it. Wait, Usher the singer? Yeah. And Elijah Wood. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It, it's it's an interesting cast. It's a fun. High speed. It's going to be like the opposite oh, of your concerns of Dead Cop. This is like kind of maniac. So. Are you going to be surprised if I don't like this? I will be surprised if you don't like this one. I this is you a good. You know what I'm starting to like, so you should know. I'm thinking this is one. I haven't rewatched it though in about six seven years, so I don't remember it that well. I I'm actually looking forward to rewatching it. Not as much about Talladega, so we'll we'll Whatever. see. I might. Are you kidding? You know me? what? I change my mind on stuff all the time. The only thing NASCAR about isn't really a sport, as we know. So there's all that going. Yeah, we're not going down that road. The only thing <laughs> bad about Talladega Nights I'll tell you right now is Sasha Cohen. Or oh, What's that guy's name? terrible. What's his name? Yeah. Sasha what? Cohen, right? Oh, here we go. Uh, You're not even helping me. Leslie Bibb is uh, yes. who is playing that, yeah. and she's been dating Sam Rockwell. Who the hell is that? Uh, he was in, uh, probably the biggest thing he was in was Iron Man 2. That's Robert um, Downey Jr. Yeah, yeah, he was in there. Uh, he's, he's just one of those guys where you say it's that guy. He was in three billboards. Uh, no one saw that. And movie. Bill Bong or whatever. Nobody I like that, that movie, and I can't remember it's about the name of it. Putting up billboards, big deal. All right. Yeah. Well, sometimes so they are a big now, deal. Now wait a second, you know? Leslie Bibb. All right. Leslie Bibb. Is yeah. she in the faculty too? No, she's not in the faculty. Is is Selma Hayek in there? I'm not telling you. Oh come on, man. I'm not telling you. Right. Anyways, Same director. Anyways. Same director. Oh wait a second, I think she is then. All Same right. director. All right. I can deal. I can deal with that. You're going to have to. 
All right, everybody. We want to thank you all for tuning in. It's time to it's time to <laughs> close the crypt and call the game. Thank you for watching. And remember to share and subscribe to our show and feed. You can find the show at otherworldlyculture.com. That's also where you can find a link to all the places that you can download and watch the show. Uh, a, link, a link. It's a link. Like a link. Such places as Apple Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, Pandora, iHeart, TuneIn, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, or you could just yell at your Amazon Echo and it'll start no. playing our show. Hey, hey, listen. What? Do you, hey. do you know what movie Link is in? Link? Yeah. Character's name is Link. Link? Yeah. Well, I, I know that's the character that's in, in that uh, video game No, nope, not a video game. It's a movie. No. Um, it had Amanda um, Smart in it. Amy Smart. Amy Smart. Hmm. Come on. Wow. Have you watched it I on should, the show? I should, get a, I should get four points for this. No, you're not getting four points for this. He's in the movie. He was in the movie. The character is in the movie Mod Squad. I never watched that. Okay. Never watched four that. points, people. That was on it. You're not add, getting four, add four points. points to my score. You are not getting four One points. One for each letter. L I N K. No, no. Think. I'm glad that you spelled it correctly. Thank <laughs> God. You know, if it's sports, yeah, it's called a home run. Yes. If it's horror, run. you run home. We're dead on the bases, and we'll <laughs> see you next time. Amandabeers.com. What? I don't know. <laughs> I should have said sheepdog, but I said that when we started. Sheepdog peanut butter whiskey. Yeah. Oh no, what's her name? Salahayek.com. <laughs> <laughs> if she's in that movie, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just watched After the Sunset last night. It was, oh, I love that movie. <laughs> Oh, man, buddy. Now everybody is bracing themselves. For what? They're all bracing themselves for the post-show tonight.